It's time for the Playmaker Spotlight with Executive Coach and Vistage Chair, Dick Smith. Well, welcome once again to the Playmaker Spotlight, the part of Get Down to Business where we speak to CEOs, business owners, and presidents and share their stories and best practices with you. Playmakers is brought to you in part by Vistage, the world's largest CEO advisory board organization. And I'm your host, Dick Smith, the CEO business coach, and I'm an award-winning chair for Vistage International. And I'm so pleased to have as our guest on tonight's program, Mickey Straub. Mickey is not only president of Sales Activity Management, known as SAM USA, <clears throat> excuse me, headquartered in Burr Ridge, Illinois. <clears throat> you might also recognize Mickey's name as he's also the mayor of Burr Ridge, Illinois. So let me read a little bit from his bio. Uh, Mickey Straub. Started out his career as an agent 16 years ago, two as a federal agent, and 14 as an insurance agent. He's an entrepreneur who owns a nationally known company called Sales Activity Management, also known as SAM, for the last 20 years, and they're located in Burridge, as I said. In 2012, Mickey became the first and only person in the country to take a patriotic pilgrimage called 50 Capitals in 50 Days a driving trip he did in honor of Abraham Lincoln and our military veterans. In 2003, he was elected mayor of Burr Ridge, and in December of this year, he'll be publishing his first book, Big Goals, Short Deadlines. Uh, Sales Activity Management is a unique company that provides custom business management tools, paper and cloud-based, e-scoreboard to over 70,000 sales and management professionals annually. Mickey also served on the NAIFA, National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisory Board, for 10 years and was chairman of the Legislative Committee with that organization. SAM is also one of GAMA, International's largest sponsors, another industry association for leadership and develop, development. And on a personal note, Mickey's a husband, father, writer, speaker, and usher and lecturer at St. Isaac Jacques Church and very involved in his community. So welcome once again, Mickey Straub, to Playmakers. Happy to have you on the show. Dick, it's an absolute uh, pleasure to be here, and uh, I, I'm just honored to be part part of uh, your show. And it's, it's great to be back here at uh, on, at AM five sixty at the uh, the answer, the radio station. Yeah, tell me about that. The answer you mentioned that was a theme of yours, or a, a book you were going to write, or something. Help me with. <laughs> Yeah, actually, the, the answer is sometimes wh- how we refer to our own concept as being the answer to success. Uh, uh, it's a solution to success. Okay. Did we yeah. steal that from you or did you? <laughs> no, 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 because it's just a, it's, uh, our company is based on a very simple principle. Okay. Actually, actually it's, a, it's a faith-based principle. Gotcha. Uh, that uh, makes, uh, and really kind of connects, uh, connects the, uh, uh, your uh, radio station, I think, to some of the things that we're doing. So. Gotcha. It's a little bit about the seeds that we sow, as I uh, read about you. Is it uh, kind of your philosophy? We, it we is. The seeds we sow. Yeah, we, we created a new, con- uh, we really uh, created a new industry around an old concept uh, mm-hmm. called we, we, we Reap What We Sow. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, also coincidentally, a lot of our principles are very similar to your last week's uh, 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 person that you had on here. It was Brad Niedermeyer, was it, mm-hmm. with uh, mm-hmm. uh, his Jump Forward? Mm-hmm. We talked about predictive analytics and, and, uh, and keeping the value of keeping score. Uh, so that's why it's, a, you know, it's a very uh, uh, providential, I think, that we happen to, to be here this week. Well, and speaking of uh, previous shows, you can always go online and listen to previous archive shows. So if you want to hear Brad, please go to our Playmaker show on Get Down to Business. You can hear that link. So uh, tell me a little bit, about how did you get, uh, why did you start SAM, Sales Activity Management? You know, people ask me that for years as to why I left the, you know, the comfortable, you know, high-paying job to, mm-hmm. uh, to start something from scratch. And it was really primarily to, to make a difference. Mm-hmm. You know, I, as, a, as a salesperson myself back then, I, I kind of, my business kind of fell off track. And I wanted, I, so I went out to, to study the, the most successful people I could to find out how they, how they were successful. Mm-hmm. And I latched on this thing called time management. And so I became a time management guru and oh. studied all the time management systems out there. Gotcha. But then I realized that uh, time management is actually a misnomer. Uh, is that right? You can't manage time, can you? You really can't. Yeah. You can't uh, buy it, you can't borrow it, sell it, uh, manage it, push it forward, push it backward. You can't. No such thing as saving time, is there? There really, there really isn't. You can uh, only spend it, right? All you can do is spend it. And that's what really activity management uh, is all about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So uh, tell me a little bit about activity management. You keep referring to that. What does that mean to you, and, and how would that help salespeople or anybody in general? 
Well, really, uh, as the name of the company implies, it's sales activity management. And that's really what we do. We help manage sales activities. But activity management itself is, is really uh, has no industry boundary lines mm-hmm. and is just as important to achieving personal goals as it is as, 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 as professional goals. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's really the, the empowering process of identifying, managing, measuring your high payoff activities in order to continually improve results. Right. But as you just said, uh, Dick, that you, uh, you can't uh, manage time. All you can do is spend it. Mm-hmm. And activity management is uh, you know, how you spend it is what activity management is all about. So if, uh, if I'm thinking about bringing in a sales activity management type trainer person, why would I pick your company? Uh, not just because it's named that, but why, what's different about you and all the other sales training people out there? Well, most companies focus on the art of sales rather than science, or uh-huh. the science having to do with the mathematics. It's really a success is, is a, you know, sales, you probably have heard before, is a numbers game. Numbers game, yep. That's one of our first principles, that sales is a numbers game. Uh, that uh, eventually well, we reap what? We reap what we sow. Sure. And quality activities produce quality results. So we, we focus on, on helping people kind of um, uh, strengthen that natural tendency we have to get distracted mm-hmm. by focusing on what you should be doing every day yeah. and not just what you want to be doing every day. Yeah, I like to say if you start with the, the thing that's the hardest for you to do and, and get some traction there versus be busy and answering emails and doing all the easy stuff, you're going to be better off focusing on that. Tough stuff that maybe you don't want to do. Yeah. Well, well put. Yeah. Well so put. if you're just tuning in, uh, you're listening to the Get Down to Business Playmaker Spotlight, brought to you in part by Vistage International, again, the world's largest CEO and business owner pri- private advisory board. And we're talking to Mickey Straub, president of Sam USA and mayor of Burr Ridge. So uh, what does your typical customer look like? What's a profile of somebody that uh, would be good for you to work with, Mickey? Well, it's really any uh, small, medium-sized uh, organization. We happen to do business with every major career insurance company in the country. Oh, okay. Uh, MetLife, New York oh. Life, Prudential, AXA, John Hancock, uh, Northwestern Mutual to a certain extent, Ameriprise, a lot of fine financial services companies around the country. Their, their sales forces use our products to help their new producers get on track and veterans to stay on track. How many employees do you have at Sam? Uh, actually, we're, we actually uh, shrunk a little bit since the economy shrunk. We, uh-huh. we, we started in 1995. Ironically, well, we launched it on April 15th, 1995 on uh-huh. tax day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we grew 50% a year for the first 10 years. Uh-huh. Uh, and then the, the economy uh, took a little bit of a hit after we, uh, right after we built our, our own building in, in Burr Ridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a, uh, took a, we, we took a little step back. But, but we, we also started doing more of as outsourcing. Mm-hmm. And outsourcing, we... We have a we are, we are the largest clients of a, a printing company called AccuLink down in uh, Greenville, North Carolina. They have seventy or eighty employees, and we're their largest customer. Wow! Okay. They do all printing, shipping, uh, fulfillment, everything. So, uh, do you have freelance sales trainers as well, or do all we do? Okay, so they're not just in house uh, full time employee sales trainers. You use freelance. We do from one in California, one in, one in Connecticut, gotcha. uh, but we have a uh, we also our, our software development. We have a company. Uh, in uh, called Intellisys in Oakbrook that uh, does kind of kind of coordinates it, and they have the developers over in India that do our software development. Gotcha. So, uh, tell me a little bit about your duties as mayor of Burr Ridge. How do you squeeze in being mayor with uh, with running Sam and then going to fifty capitals in fifty days? And you're a busy guy. It gets a little tricky, uh-huh. but uh, you know it. It all has to do with collaboration, uh, which I'd I'd um, like to say that our company is a lot about collaboration mm-hmm. and. and and, and re- requiring the assistance of others to help you get your, to achieve your goals, mm-hmm. much like your, the, the organization you're involved with, with Vistage. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about collaboration because while some of us will succeed alone, most of us will fail alone. Yeah. And so I have good, great people around me uh, at, at the company. Uh, as Mayor Burr Ridge, that was actually after the 50 Capitals trip. Uh, in, uh, in 2012, I really felt like it was a bit of a calling to – uh, to go around the country and, and subtly promote our founding principles through Abraham Lincoln. Uh, you, you went to the steps of every one of the 50 capitals throughout the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii, and read the Gettysburg Address out loud, right? Yes, sir, I did. <clears throat> and there was no pre-promotion of that at all? It wasn't to try and you know get your face on CNN or whatever? No, there wasn't. There were some phone calls out there. We had a, a friend named Matt Barron who made some phone calls for me to, to some organizations, but but it was really, I, I went there, I, I didn't just get on the steps, I was on, in every capital, on every floor, every wing, every house and senate chamber, taking pictures of any references to God, liberty, or Lincoln. Gotcha. And then I, and before I left, though, I wanted, I wanted to uh, you know, record the Gettysburg Address. 
Well, we're just about out of time, Mickey. Uh, boy, that time goes very fast. I could talk to you all day long. I'm, I know you're a big fan of Abraham Lincoln. And you're also a big fan of my one of my heroes, Ronald Reagan. And and uh, so uh, wonderful to have you on the show. So how do they get more information? Do they go to salesactivitymanagement.com? Is that the plan? That'll work, or samusa.com. And the cool thing was I even proved, on, I accidentally proved on that 50 Capitals trip that these principles of activity management, work to accomplish any bucket list goals that you have in your life. I love it. Well, hey, thanks again, Mickey, for being with us. Thanks to our listeners. You can reach me at dick.smith at vistagechair.com. Now back to Get Down to Business. 